very rude. Backlash at nationalist who confronted Kate as princess praised for reaction. Royal fans have praised the Princess of Wales' handling of the situation, with one hailing her as a true queen. Kate has been praised for her calm reaction after being challenged by a woman during a visit to Northern Ireland with Prince William today. The Prince and Princess of Wales were taking part in a walkabout with crowds in Belfast when the incident unfolded. The woman, wearing green, shook Kate's hand and said, Nice to meet you but it would be better if it was when you were in your own country. The woman, who appeared to be videoing the exchange on a mobile phone, added, Ireland belongs to the Irish. The Princess of Wales smiled warmly before moving on to shake hands with another well-wisher. Royal fans rushed to Twitter to praise the future Queen Consort for her handling of the exchange. One Twitter user with the handle at Camilla Windsor underscore commented, Catherine handled the situation very gracefully though. Another, at Naomi Sky underscore 15, wrote, and the Princess of Wales handled it with grace and dignity. As always. Moving on. A third, at Wild Kudzu 2, said, Catherine just moved on without missing a beat. LOL. Royal fan account at Love Family Walls added, that lady was very rude. If she doesn't like the monarchy, why did she waste her time going there? But Catherine handled the moment perfectly and she and William were welcomed with open arms by the rest of the crowd everywhere they went. They are loved. A fifth Twitter user, Dina Zayas, gushed, a true queen. Great Britain is so lucky to have her as its next queen consort. One more, at Royal Princess 3, added, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, the late Queen and Princess Diana would be proud of her handling this situation gracefully and choose kindness every time. The exchange happened in what is a predominantly nationalist area of Belfast. Kate and William received an otherwise positive reception during their visit to Northern Ireland on Thursday. The Public Initiative for Prevention of Suicide and Self-Harm, PIPS, charity was their first stop of a day. During their visit, the Waleses spoke with staff about their work helping people at risk of suicide and self-harm. They also took part in an art therapy session with some vulnerable children who have been supported by the organization. And they joined a group of volunteer counselors in packing up the charity's little boxes of hope which are support packages given to children following their time with PIPs to assist their ongoing recovery and ensure that their parents and guardians feel better equipped to cope. After the visit to PIPs, the couple traveled into Belfast city centre to view Trade Market, a new outdoor street food and retail market. Kate and William, who are known for being competitive, took part in a cocktail-making race. They also heard about the trade market enterprise which transformed a previously vacant site, aiming to showcase new businesses while also increasing footfall in a less visited area. And they met with representatives from Kanos, a Belfast-based software company which provided the site for the market at a peppercorn rent. The final engagement of the day was to the town of Carrickfergus in Coenterim. The royal couple were greeted by cheering crowds who had lined the streets as they arrived to visit youth charity Carrick Connect which offers support services to local young people experiencing social or emotional difficulties.
streets as they arrived to visit youth charity Carrick Connect which offers support services to local young people experiencing social or emotional difficulties.